What we've learned over the years is that babies are much more capable than we initially imagined, but they're also much more vulnerable. And in Edtronic's still face experiment, we get to see both in a very short period. We see the baby and the dad playing together in their routines. There are things that they know about each other and things that they do together, and it's fun. And then we ask the dad to turn away, and when he turns back, to keep his face completely still and not respond to the baby. And the results are almost immediate and they're devastating. The baby looks to the dad and tries to get the dad to get back into those games. Hey, we were just playing just a minute ago, weren't we? We were having fun, what's going on? And then the baby starts to get frustrated when that doesn't work. So she'll have to look away and look around the room and find something else and then look back and say, now can we play? And within three minutes, the baby has really dissolved. She is trying to get out of the chair. She's uncomfortable. She's reaching out to dad. She's crying. And then we ask the dad to turn away again. And when he turns back, to go back to being regular dad. And it's a joyous reunion. They get back into their routines, the things that they do together, the things that they were just doing three minutes before. And the baby settles down and gets back to the comfort zone that she's developed with the dad. What we see in the still face experiment is how able the child is to initiate and be part of the relationship between the father and the child, but also how much she depends on that relationship in order to keep an even keel. And when she's grounded and comfortable, she can explore the world. She can meet new people. Hola. She can try new things. And she's got that safe base that she can always rely on. And there's a trust level there. We can only begin to imagine what it's like for babies whose life is like that three minutes all of the time and they don't get that responsiveness, and they don't get any help getting back to an even keel. And the results can be very tragic. They can have trouble trusting people, they can have trouble relating to people, and they can have trouble being calm enough so that they can explore the world and take part in the world. So we know that those initial relationships, that initial responsiveness and interaction between the father and the baby are keys to the baby's success as a child and as an adult.